But I suppose before I get into voice over IP, um, I should expand on the point that I made earlier that the telcos are now getting into federated communications. The um, uh, increasingly, telcos don't just provide you with, with phone service. Uh, increasingly, they are the people that provide your uh, TV, your cable TV. Uh, you know, either it was a cable company uh, that now becomes a telco, or it was a telco that has decided to provide uh, TV as well. And uh, we'll leave the the streaming services out of it for a bit, but I you know, strongly suspect that they're going to get into the game as well. But anyways, we've got, uh, so we got, you know, video uh, on with this thing. And, uh, again, increasingly, the companies that are providing you with uh, internet connectivity are now providing you with cable TV and are providing you with... Uh, telephone service so you know basically there's no distinction between the uh, the telcos anymore as to what they provide all of them provide uh, cable TV internet access and your home phone and most of them provide you with cellular service too um, now this came home to me uh, recently when I moved um, the uh, I have for many years I, as people have been giving up their their landlines at home and saying oh we'll just go with you know a, a cell phone uh, because we we don't have any uh, any need for an additional uh, landline when, when we're carrying a cell phone all the time. Uh, the thing is, uh, in when we go into business con continuity, and I probably uh, mentioned that then, that the, um, the landline is an important uh, availability function because the... Uh, Everybody is, is using cell phones. Yes, everybody's carrying their own phone around with them, and it's terribly convenient. It doesn't matter whether you're in the office or not. Uh, I know somebody who hasn't uh, t said to the boss that they have, in fact, moved uh, quite far away because um, they don't need to be in the office. Uh, and... and so, you know, they just haven't mentioned the fact that they're not actually in the area anymore. Um, so, uh, but the thing is that cell service, I mean, all telephone service, cannot provide uh, the service, you know, telephone service to all the customers at, at once. Um, the thing is that, whereas, I, I don't know the exact numbers, so I'm not, you know, best not to quote it, but um, where uh, landline service can provide for a, a fraction of the subscribers, cell service um, provides a capability to connect even fewer of the survivors. And of course, in a regional disaster, we see this all the time, that, you know, as soon as a, an earthquake strikes or there's a flood or, uh, you know, whatever it is, there's a, a major wildfire situation. Wildfires are even worse because they take down the cell towers too. But um, the thing is that everybody wants to check on their family. Everybody pulls out their cell phone switches it on and nobody gets through because the uh, that system as I say is only um, in the case of cell service uh, able to provide connectivity for a very small 
fraction of the subscribers, um, even with the increases in efficiency. And uh, so the, the system basically just gives up and dies. Um, so uh, landlines, while, while they are still subject to the same thing, um, a landline um, has until recently um, been a good bet for emergencies and I you know I have friends who uh, having moved uh, themselves uh, uh, tell me we still got a landline because Rob says you should have one for emergencies so, thing is if you've got a landline if you've got an actual twisted pair landline don't get rid of it. Don't move because you can't get them anymore. The service that the telcos provide these days, they just simply don't provide the old type of landline service. It used to be that, uh, again, in, in terms of business continuity, the, the telephone systems were the absolute standard for uh, availability. Um, they provided, uh, I mean, you know, they, the electrical companies provided pretty decent service, but every once in a while they did go down. Um, the telcos were, were better than the power companies. The power would go out and you could still pick up a landline and get through. Um, but that was under that dedicated system. And now what you get when you buy a supposed home phone, they don't even call it a landline anymore because it's not. What it is, is a fractional uh, capability connected to your TV and your uh, uh, internet connectivity. So these days, basically, um, and I, I saw this even before I moved it, um, our TV, uh, you know, we, we would have a problem with the TV and, and see, uh, that, you know, the signal was flaky or, or wasn't available or whatever. And I'd go upstairs, uh, and look at the computer and I wouldn't have connectivity on the internet either. So those were tied together, but our landline would still work. Well, now that I've moved... If the TV goes out, I'm pretty sure that my landline, my home phone number, is no good anymore. Oh well. <laughs>